Good morning and welcome to Thought for the Day. This week we are looking at Psalm 34. Yesterday we looked at verses 1 to 3 and learned about the centrality of praise and worship in the Christian life and the importance of encouraging one another in this. Today we are going to look at verses 4 to 7 and I will read them now. Verse 4 I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him. He saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. The state of mind of the psalmist is evident in these verses. In verse 4 he talks about his fears. In verse 6 he talks about his troubles. There's no question that his circumstances are difficult. And he is afraid. So given these difficult circumstances, what does the psalmist do? In verse 4, we read that he sought the Lord. In verse 5, that he looked to him. We read in verse 6, that he called. And in verse 7, the psalmist talks about fearing God. And that surely should be our first response too, when faced with difficulties or troubles, when we're feeling fearful, our first response should be to seek God and to call out to him and ask for help. So how does the Lord respond to the psalmist? In verse 4, we read that he answered and delivered. Verse 6 tells us he hears and saves. In verse 7 we again hear that he delivers and that his angel encamps around those who fear him. A beautiful picture of protection and security. God is responsive and ready to save. It is perhaps important to note that sometimes God delivers us from our troubles, as it says in verse 6. That is, he actually changes the circumstances that we face. He in some way changes the situation we find ourselves in. But at other times, as it says in verse 4, he delivers us from our fears. Sometimes it is us that he changes. He gives us the courage and resilience to deal with the situation we find ourselves in. Either way, bringing our worries, fears and circumstances to God changes the situation. We do not see those things in the same way if God is in the midst of them. Listen to how the psalmist describes those who rely on God in this way. He says, Those who look to him are radiant. This describes a joy which comes from within us and which shines out in a way that is evident to those around us. 
This joy is independent of circumstances. It is a joy which only God can give. Those who trust God and fear him have a special protection. They are safe and secure in his arms, regardless of what else surrounds them or what they face. So my friends, whatever you are facing today, however you are feeling, whatever problems you have, do not hesitate to call out to God. Bring all your circumstances to him, seek him and trust him in all those matters. For he is a God who listens. He is a God who answers. And he is a God who is willing and able to save. In him you will find peace and joy. In him you will find security and protection. He will make you radiant as you reflect his love and peace to those around you. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you that we can bring all our problems, our feelings and our circumstances to you. We thank you that you are a God who listens, a God who answers and a God who is able and willing to save. Father God, help us to trust and rely on you in every circumstance, that we might be radiant and filled with your joy. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And a morning collect. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do always what is right in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.